the name of the Father and Son and Holy Spirit forever. Amen. Amen. Today we celebrate together the Sunday entering the fast, the great fast. Glory to the name of God, O Lord Jesus Christ, the Savior who gives us this opportunity to serve together his body and his blood. And we may together remember us of his death. The great fast that we participate in every year, it came as a result of historical development. Uh, it wasn't like what we have today. In the second century, this fast, this fast has had mentioned as a preparatory period of, uh, for Easter. It was for a very short time. You believe it was about for one day to three days before Easter. In the third century, this fast became for six, six days in some churches. In the fifth century, this fast was con connected to Easter as a preparatory period to those that wanted to become Christian. That's why they had to prepare themselves during this period by teaching them and making them ready to be baptized and the Saturday before Easter. So they will, they will be Christians so they can receive the first communion in their life during the Easter time. This fast in our church is for, it's, it's about seven weeks. It starts Monday after the entering Sunday and end in Passover, the Thursday of Passover. That means it is for 40 days if, if, you, if you take the seven Sundays and the last three days out. But today, church said, is for 50 days. The Holy Gospel, the Holy Gospel for today was from Matthew chapter 3, verse 16 till end and continue with chapter 4, verse 1 till 12. The Holy Gospel is talking first about Jesus' baptism. And then when he baptized, the Holy Spirit alighted upon him. This is that mean the Holy Spirit and the voice from God uh, from heaven and uh, Jesus Christ, the Trinity, Father and Son and Holy Spirit. And he was guided by the Spirit in, into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. Here it's showing us the connection between Jesus' baptism and his temptation. Matthew is presenting Jesus, as I say it always, as a new Moses who went to the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. The Israel people went to the wilderness by Moses, the prophet, and they fought in temptation there. That's why they stayed there in wilderness for 40 years. Even though we know that this nation was only about three days or approximately, you know, to travel at the most, you know, between the Egypt and the Holy Land. We know the number of 40, the period, it's about the period of purification. That's why they need that time to be purified in the wilderness. Those who fell in the sin did not enter the, the promised land which God had promised them. Moses also didn't enter and he died before entering to the promised land. The Spirit guided our Lord to wilderness and God guided the people of Israel to the wilderness to see how they, how they are thinking about God. How they are, listen, are they listening to him or not? That's why if we look, our Jesus Christ lived those temptations filled by people of Israel and wilderness when they, fled, when they fled from Egypt. So the devil put Jesus in the big temptation, this temptation which the Israel people had seen in the wilderness. We saw that uh, in the book of Exodus. But Jesus Christ is overcoming these temptations and he passed to the other side. Jesus took that, this decision by his own free will in order to defeat the devil more. The devil is tempting Jesus, not in the temple, 
or in baptism, but in wilderness. He was tired, hungry, and alone in these in this difficult circumstances. The devil is always tempting us in such a difficult circumstances that we fall into, into easily. We have to know that devil is tempting us when we are strong also. When we are showing pride, we must be aware of this temptation. The temptation of devil for Jesus Christ were three. Fleshly desire, kingdoms, and their splendor and power, and also pride. Matthew wanted to bring us back to the time of the Tromony. He is showing us what he said about Jesus being the, the new Moses, who embodies the new people of God. Today we are the new people of God. We should not fall into the, into the, into the arrogance and pride and domination as the Israel people did when they were in the wilderness. We must live in, in simplicity and love and live with the Lord during this fast. We must not fast because we are afraid of him, but we must fast because we love him and we don't want to be far from him as the Israel people did when they were in wilderness. This is how God showed his love for us and this is his will. In, in 1 John chapter 4, verse 9, he said to us, this is how God showed his love among us. He sent his, his one and only son into the world that we may live through him. Uh, if, if, some, if, if someone said, however, claim to, to, love, to love God, yet, yet hate, uh, hate, hate his brother or sister, he is lying. That's why today we hear from the Old Testament from the Exodus, from the Exodus book, uh, the Ten Commandments that have been read by the uh, subdeacon. He shown us the Ten Commandments that God gave through Moses. Those Ten Commandments, it's about two things. It's about uh, the relationship between us and God, and also the second part, the second shield, it's about relationship between us, each other. We have to love each other. This is the condition of our faith. We have to be in the same place that God is trying to tell us in those Ten Commandments. Love each other. If you love each other, that's when you love me. If you say I love you, we love God, and we hate each other, that's when we not love God. We are far away from God. That's why today, today uh, we start in our great fast. That's when to be near, to be close to God, to purify ourselves from all those things, make us far away from each other, make us uh, divide us from each other. That's why we are people of God, as I said in the, in the beginning. We are new people of God. We need to be in the same Jesus did in wilderness. We have to uh, defeat the devil more in our life by, uh, by being purify ourselves and be close to our Lord Jesus Christ. May God bless you all, and may God give you, uh, may, God, may, may his hand be with you all, all, all your days. Amen. Let us uh, bow and uh, ask our Lord to forgive our sins, to be ready to accept his body and blood in our life. Amen. Amen. <laughs> سابق يا مان اخنان البسيم وتو تحبو خلطنا رجاواتو بشغلة فلم بيو فوداتا مدرش القيدة تياوتا ومخدد قاوي روك القديشة بشتختيمي بير يوم الفرقانة صافي لبت خنامو من كل خطالوت البسرة وبروخة مكو بهي وديمانوتا بيرتو طيبوتو مطارز غطريات الدوباري بالجدوات الزديقوتا بس مثل ام قديشة بالكوتو مكو بهي وديمانوتا يسيم ابنيا موسام براسم بخلانة بدتون خيلانة بيرتو برخمو قد نطري فقدانة مكبلة رزا موضوع الاسقادم شابه وشم قديشة ما ذكر شابه برونا وروح بخشان أمين.